background video i'm a new youtuber uh, ultraganda here and today we will be i'll be showing one of the best money and customer layouts for mid to advanced players with enough money to afford a lot of stuff i myself am a beginner mid tier player in my restaurant here right roblox and today i'll be showing you velcarni's layout you can see in the top left corner i'm gonna just put a picture up on the screen so you can follow along if you don't understand me and i'll be constructing this layout with you guys uh it, this is a multi-floor layout again this is for this is for money and customers for mid-tier players so if if you're a beginner check out one of my other videos and if you're not hyped about this content i have much more other content content on my channel ranging from water bots other roblox videos minecraft coming soon and other stuff as such especially among us you can go check out my among us videos so let us get started here so first as you can see what we're going to do is grab so the black squares as you can see on the top right are the filler black and brown are the filler squares the only reason they're colored differently is that we need these ropes over here so we'll take one two three four one two three four sorry the cooks are covering the i wish those were fire then we are going to do one two three four again then we're going to do one more oh wait yeah my my, my thing is lagging a little bit here one two three four just like that and oh, i run out of ropes let me just get them real quick Okay, so as I said, you can go check out my other channels, uh, my other videos. Sorry, I don't have multiple channels. Uh, we're on our road to 100 subscribers here. So y you want around maybe like 20, 15, 17 to 20 ropes, right? So we want to do, so we have one, two, three. We need to do another row of them right here. One, two, three. Ah, sorry, I don't know what's up with my thing today. Four, again. And now, after we've done one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're now going to skip one, as you can see. And go only one, two, three. Remember, these ropes are actually just filler items, but they help you get in and out of your restaurant much easier. Okay, so after we have done that, we're going. I'm going to um, get the next way, the pathway, as you can see on the top left. I'm, I'm just going to use these red tiles, but you can leave them empty. Uh, there is no need. So what we're going to do is follow along. Remember, I have the small restaurant size. This is for both small and big restaurant sizes, I repeat. So if, if you have a bigger restaurant, no worries at all. All you need to do is just add a little extra filler items. Remember, small restaurants are 14 by 14 and bigger restaurants are 16 by 16. So, hi Robert. I want to say hello to the... No? Okay. Okay, bye. But anyways. Um, so now we're going to create the rope. And remember, this is for both big and small restaurant sizes. 14 by 14 and 16 by 16. Um, and smaller restaurant guys who are free to play like me um like it's completely fine basically now what we're going to do is try to get this the path all the way till the teleporter over there where you can see my mouse um because we want the shortest path possible so that my cooks and the people do not wander around over here so let's start out of this corner right here remember we are facing away from the entrance after we've placed our one two three one two three four five Rows with the last one being only three. We're going to place one empty space. So I'm just placing carpet just for your guys' benefits. But you can feel free to leave these empty. There is no compulsion at all. We're going to place one, 
two, two up, two to the side, one up, again two to the side, and then another one up, and one just, okay, so now we're going to stop here. So this is, this should be our path layout so far. Remember at the small restaurant, your uh, uh, bigger restaurant, as you can see on the top corner, just follow that. But for my small restaurant viewers here, um, we are going to now do the stoves, okay? Remember, if you do not have the luxury items, I'll be using the luxury items because I have some, it is completely okay. You can use your regular stove, better stove, w w whatever you need. So first what we're going to do is place some stoves from the wall over here. We're going to place one, two, three, four. We're going to place another row of four stoves. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to place another row except a gap in this, a gap in the middle here. See this? See this? This gap where Taylor is standing, yeah, yeah, where Timothy is standing, that's a gap. So we're going to skip that and put two more dishwashers, right? And in the empty space, we're going to not put anything. Don't. If you put something here like a stove, your people will wander around and thus lowering the efficiency of your restaurant. So what you're going to do, just going to place carpet right here. In this empty spot I'm just doing this again no compulsion at all you can use whatever stoves you want guys uh, and if you have some corrupted royal set feel free to use those okay there's no compulsion at all remember the red carpets are just empty space since however I have luxury items and high-tech items remember I'm completely free to play I've done some AFK grinding with all those like OP auto clickers or whatever um, so I'm just gonna use some luxury items so one leave us one leave a space and two more oh wait i have another one i guess i can do this okay so now once we've done that we we are going to place four order stands four order stands facing like so this uh this black bar should be facing horizontally we're gonna place four order stands like this i have a golden order stand remember you can use the normal order stand it's completely okay we're gonna place four order stands and now what you want to do is make a sort of v around the teleporter so we're gonna with dishwashers i have my dishwasher here i have a luxury dishwasher so okay here's what we're gonna do after you've placed these four, remember I'm facing towards, like away from the wall. What you're gonna do, you're gonna leave this empty. Leave this empty. Start from the corner, the last one that you placed. You're gonna come here. You're gonna put a dishwasher. Again, I'm using luxury items. You can use whatever you want. You're gonna place one in the very corner. Then another one here. Remember, facing to the right of me and and to the, towards the right of the restaurant. Another one facing inwards. Another one of these high-tech dishwashers facing inwards, remember. It's very important, otherwise the waiters will walk to the other side to put it. Then, an, then another dishwasher facing inwards. And finally, in this little empty space, we're gonna place our final dishwasher just like this so before we okay now here is where it gets a little optional so now that we've done the small kitchen we're now going to do a small area full of gumballs gumball machines are one of the best money making appliances in this game right i have a lot i have 37 of them uh but we only require around eight for this so just try to follow along so remember i'm at the entrance the black area after the two one you placed the the carpet in the middle this is where you're gonna start okay 
you are going to place you're going to place one gumball one two at the back okay you can also refer to this as after two of your ropes put the gumball machine at the third rope i repeat put the gumball machine at the third rope we're going to place one gumball two gumballs three gumballs like this is remember this is any any money making appliance if you have tip jars perfect but instead i'm going to use my i have some arcade machines so i'm going to just put that real quick i'm going to put that arcade machine It's okay, I won't put my arcade machine. Oh yeah, I'm using it for the second floor, but okay. We'll just put some gumball machines. I'm just gonna put gumball, remember on the third rope, gumball, gumball, gumball. Remember, you wanna start from the outwards because the gumball machine actually requires two. So if you start from the inwards, you won't, they won't allow to place a gumball machine here. So we're gonna place another one on both the sides. Then we're gonna place another one another one and you can place your tip jar if you have one again i got this from the auction house uh i'm a free-to-play player but you can un also place another gumball here it doesn't matter and so this glitch is a very old glitch and the customer should leave at this point so instead of instead of walking all the way out it's just gonna teleport in in this square uh so that i know i'm just gonna put this in a gold tile all right uh so this glitch may have been patched we'll check it out uh freddy you want to leave bro no okay okay so now we have finished the first floor except for the fillers we are going to fill now if if for one of your uh if you're like starting out new player you might wonder like oh when i look at like big people restaurant why have they placed so many plants is there like a secret or something no all the plants are there to do is to prevent the customers and the cooks from walking there i repeat the fillers mostly plants are there to stop the customers and cooks from walking there to maximize the efficiency of your restaurant all right so now i'm going to place my fillers fillers are all of your stuff in your decor, in your decor section, right here. I'm gonna place your jewelry case. So if you have jewelry cases, now he, he, here's a small tip, okay? I, I'll have another video on jewelry cases and such, but what you wanna do here is if you have jewelries, then just place them as fillers. Even these, remember, all decor items are fillers. Again, fillers means where the customers and cooks and waiters, all the NPCs are going to not walk. So, because if they're wandering around here, how will they serve the customers on the next floor, right? So, I'm just going to place these real quick. Again, if you don't have this, is completely okay. Um, so, again, so there are a few special customers in my restaurant, as this is my first my restaurant video that I'm going to post on my channel. But there are, there are a few types of customers in my restaurant, that being the most OG one, the celebrity. The celebrity will pay 10 times the amount of cash as the main dish is. So, that's the celebrity. These jewel, jewelry cases attract the celebrities. So that, 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 that's always nice. Uh, the next cu customer is the VIP customer, which, oh, hold on, let me, the, the VIP customer, which tips a lot, and I believe pays, I forgot how much it pays, but they tip a lot, and they pay also a certain amount of cash, like times. Okay, next, Probably the best customer is Santa. Santa are attracted by Santa's cookies. And basically what Santa does, he calls a lot of his elves. And he drops presents wherever he goes. 
right? So th- that's huge to have. Like if you have, uh, if you can save up for Santa's cookies, th- these decorations right here before I just place them. These attract Santa, and these are huge, like huge, for Santa to come and show up and enrich your restaurant with presents. Finally, the newest one that was added was the gamers. I'm currently placing these silver play buttons, which attract YouTubers. They pay 30 times the amount of cash of the recipe. I repeat, 30 times, guys. And they bring their fans who pay 10 times. So it's like, you might think this is the best customer, but still, they're very hard to attract. And the gaming sets in the store, let's just say they're not worth it. I'll have a complete video on the store, the auction house, and all of these cases, etc. But just just bear with me for a second. Now for the fillers. Like obviously I don't have like all these expensive jewelry cases to fill the entire thing up. So I'm just gonna place my cactus. I recommend any plant. Uh, cactus being one of the cheapest at eighty dollars. Um, so. One tip that I, I, I always say to my friends when, when playing this game, in an early stage, never try to make your restaurant look good. Just always focus on the efficiency. So, I only do cactus because it's easy to see through your restaurant. If you put those big, like, birds of paradise trees, I don't know, I just find it a little awkward to have, like, huge hulking, like, jungle trees in my my restaurant. So, but anyways, I'm just going to place these. Remember, you want to cover your restaurant full of these fillers. Okay, so full of these fillers, we're going to place the restaurant in all of these fillers. Guys, remember to all, like, whatever you need, you can pause the video if I'm going too fast. So please do let me know in the comment section. Your guys' feedback is super appreciated. Um... Please do not hate other people's comments just because they're posting some feedback that you don't like or disagree with. We all have different opinions. Um, okay, so I have these epic totems as well. They're just, they're just an, again, another filler. So don't mind me if I just place these real quick. Again, these have, if fillers have no effects except for the jewelries, the Santa cookies, and these play buttons that attract YouTubers. Uh, but I'm just gonna place these real quick. Right, these are all fillers. See, the cook is walking away from the filler. Remember, you d- you do not want to place them in the carpet. The carpets are empty space, so do not place them on the carpet. Um, the empty space. I'm just gonna place some cactus here. Cactus. I recommend the filler of cactus, and we're gonna need a lot of fillers for this method. As you can see, I've almost covered the entire room full of cactus. Um, so now, since I have some wishing well, again, wishing well, the auction house, I'll post a video on the auction house sometime, my, and my slot machine, remember slot machine, I'll make a full video about all of these, my jukebox, all this stuff, now I'm going to get another cactus, start placing them around. Okay, so I am trying to get to 100 subscribers, I know it's... Like bigger youtubers like haha 100 subscribers but guys this support means a lot to me so please smash that like button subscribe for the youtube algorithm and stuff if you enjoyed this video remember to comment down below like and sub so please please do that and um i hope this layout works for you remember it's a money and customer layout i think i finished placing all of the cacti cacti is it yeah cacti around this place again on the top left you see the brown spaces those are all filled with fillers (laughs) filled with fillers now we're going to move on to floor 2 210 that might seem a little confusing but this is velcarni's layout and basically what is going on is that the npcs will walk through all of this stuff and immediately go to the teleporter. They'll go to the teleporter at the end, and then they'll select which floor. For example, this is what your floor should look like. Again, so there are many floor two to tens possible, but what I'm gonna do is just wipe this floor for you guys. 
uh, real quick. I'm just gonna wipe this floor. Okay. So, what you're gonna do now, it's very simple. You're gonna go to your furniture, get your tiki, so I'm just gonna use tiki tables, um, just for peoples who can't afford all that royal stuff, because this, this game has gotten really pay to win these days, so, I don't know, tikis are just the best way. If you don't know, the tiki tables are, again, I'll be doing a separate video on this, but uh, the tiki tables encourage parties of four, like in the customers, so you'll be getting more like f people of four coming together, which pay more cash. So first what you're gonna do is place one, two tables away from the teleporter. So only half the teleporter should show. One, two tables, three, four. You're gonna place four tables just like that. Then you're gonna rotate the tables and one gap from the wall, you're gonna place one, two. You're gonna place two tables just like that. Next, again, you're going to do symmetrically. You're going to rotate from the top. You're going to leave one gap. One, two, three, and four. Guys, I'm not showing a map of this because this is a slightly altered version of Velcarni's layout. So just bear with me for a second. Again, two tables right here. This is what your thing should um, work first. Remember, this is a glitch layout but not bannable. So now I'm just going to use red booth chairs. I recommend using red booth or tiki chairs for this setup to work. I'm going to place those chairs all around. I haven't opened my restaurant so no, no customers will be flooding in. But remember, this layout is what you want to do for all for floors 2 to 10. Remember that. I'm going to place these chairs real quick. Right. And... So, so this is a glitch layout. Now you, now you want me wondering like, Ultra, wh what do you mean by that, bro? What I mean by that is that, so there, there are a few reasons that, the first plain reason that you can see that this, sorry, just snacking, um, is glitch, is that one, the customers should be leaving at a different point than the entrance. Second, as soon as we complete this, you'll see that there is a 2 by 3 gap in the middle of all of these seatings. That means that the waiters will stand in this gap and they can immediately serve everybody just from standing in that place. You'll see when I open the restaurant. Anyways, we want to place all these chairs and again, fill our items. We don't want the cooks wandering around and... Remember, they don't cook plants, so just chill out. Okay, I'm just gonna do all of this stuff. This is how your thing should look like at the end. Remember, four tables, one away from the teleporter, two on the sides, and four across. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do, oh wait, I have a pirate table, let me just. Remember, you do not have to use, if you have the royal and corrupted sets, great. But I'm just going to place these pirate chairs because I have them and I can afford them. But for you guys, it's, it's perfectly fine to use tikis, right? See, only even I have only one pirate chair. So now what we're going to do is again go to our fillers. Our fillers in decor. We're going to place a cactus from, from the, this end seating. Remember, same side as the teleporter. We're going to place one, two, three cactus or filler. Wh whatever filler you want. It can be any plant. It's using the cactus because they're easy to see through. Um, then you're going to then you're gonna continue building this line of three. Right. Keep building this line of three till you reach the end. So remember, we're only doing three layers and not filling it up like last time because often in these two to 10 floor layouts, three layers of fillers are enough to keep the waiters like in line. So we're just gonna fill it up till this, till your last chair here, right? And then what you wanna, and then what you're gonna wanna do is go from the other side. So like this side, we're gonna place one, two, three, then we're going to start filling it up. Ugh. 
red. Okay, now you want to keep filling these until these two parts meet. As you can see, eventually the two, three, three rows of cactus we did will meet and you're done. That was a lot of fillers. So for this method, I recommend at least 100K and this is for both pro and new players more money and customer well i should say a little more customer related but still can generate huge amounts of money per hour if you only have tiki's and chairs and you can fill up till the 10th floor and no still i only have eight floors this could easily make half a mil per hour i guess with only tiki's with corrupted i think an easy one and a half mil so that's great now in the middle if, like me, you don't have a Christmas tree, then you're going to do this. If you have a Christmas tree, perfect. Put it in the middle here. So, now what we're going to do, you do the following. You have your gumball. Remember, it's just completely optional, okay? Completely optional. You're going to place gumball number one here, one away. Gumball number two. Turn the gumballs around. And you can place four gumballs like this. This means that when the guys finish eating, they'll immediately try to buy these gumballs. But if you have the arcade machine, the arcade machine like I do, you can place an arcade machine here. So they'll play, they'll play the arcade machine. Now, this is for the players who have at least a mil cash and can afford this. But the silverware tray, which costs 200,000, you can place near the teleporter here just face it this side so there's a 20 percent chance they'll come and get some silverware which will assist them and help them eat faster okay guys let's just have go back to floor one and look at what we have done so far do a quick recap so first one two three four a four uh, by four 16 ropes plus three ropes we're gonna do a two two three one pattern a three by three grid of gumball slash jars and again a three by four stove leaving one empty four order stands and then a sort of c sort of c shape of the dishwashers all facing inwards towards the teleporter the filler items like this and guys, that'll be pretty much it for the first floor. And then in the second floor, remember what we want to do is it's sort of a square shape. Four rows, four tables, one away from the wall. You place a silverware if you have one. Two, two, four. That's again, four, two, two, four. In the middle, either a Christmas tree if you have one or four gumballs. If you still don't want to have the gumballs, that is completely okay you can just replace with filler items instead um yeah so that guys will be pretty much it for vel Carney's layout floor one to ten however many floors you have this will be great see now because of the filler items all of the cooks are standing here and when we open the restaurant which i'll do in just a sec they will all go to their station